Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Dinatullah from the Sai Medha Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. So in this video, we are going to discuss one topic related to applications of the definite integrals and we are having the topic as areas. So the students, those who are from the 2025, those who are going to write the ESET examination in the 2025 as well as 2026, Sai Medha Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad has already started the coaching for 2025 as well as 2026 students. If you want any information regarding this uh, admissions, you can contact uh, on the given numbers. Okay. Now, let us concentrate on one topic over here. One we have taken it as uh, areas. So, first we will be seeing this question completely. What is the concept we are having? How to solve this que question by using this concept, by using the complete graphs, what we are having over here. Okay. Then later on, how to solve this question in the ESET examination. Okay, because if the same question will be asking in the same uh, ESET examination over there, it will take more lengthy time. Because in that in that examination, if you are wasting the time, if you are taking more time for solving the questions, you can't attempt uh, all the questions uh, in the ESET examination. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to follow some time saving results. What we are having first, we'll be discussing this part. Then later on, we'll be going for the time saving. Result. Now we are having this part as find the area bounded by two parabolas y square is equal to 4x and x square is equal to 4ay okay this part we are having over here now as we can see we are having two parabolas first let us draw the two parabolas what we are having this is x axis we have taken this is y axis we have taken over here x axis y axis okay and in this question also we can't able to see some uh, values x values y values it is not mentioned in this question okay so let us do first thing over here that uh, i have taken the first parabola what's the first parabola we are having y square it is equals to 4 a x uh, and i'm taking this part as equation one okay now second part what we are having x square it is equals to 4 a y and i have taken this part as equation two okay equation one equation two now let us do one thing for this part i am doing squaring on both sides if i am doing squaring on both sides this part will become what x power 4 it is equals to 16 a square y square okay this part we are getting over here x power 4 equals to 16 a square y square now in this y square we can substitute this 4x value let us substitute over here so x power 4 it is equals to 16 a square in the place of y square what we are writing now 4 a x okay like this we have taken now x power 4 it is equals to 16 forza 64 a square into a means what we can write a cube x okay now let us bring this part over here so it will become x power 4 minus 64 a cube x it is equals to 0 okay this part we have taken now from this two terms we can take xx common if you take xs common what will be left part now x cube minus 64 a cube it is equals to 0 okay now one time we are getting x is equals to 0 and another time we are getting x cube minus 64 a cube it is equals to 0 okay now already we are having one x value it is equals to 0 over here this is one x value and in this part x cube if you are sending this part over there means what is equals to 64 a cube like this we have taken okay now this cube if you are sending over there it will become cube root if you are writing cube root over here so x is equals to cube root of 64 means what we can write a 4 because 4 4 is a 16 16 4 is a 64 and this part will become a so what is the x value we are getting over here x is equals to 4a so we got two values now x is equals to 0 x is equals to 4a okay two values we have completed now what we'll be doing let us find out the y values also so what i'm doing means uh, if uh, x value i have taken it as 0 if x value it is equals to 0 then what is y value y is equals to let us substitute this x value 0 over here x is equal to 0 means uh, y value also what we are having 0 x equals to 0 y is equal to 0 okay means this point we are getting it as a 0 comma 0 one point we have completed okay now next part next part we are having if x is equals to 4 a x is equals to 4 a then y is equals to what okay see this one if you are substituting over here so y square it is equals to 4 a into again x values 4 a we have taken over here so y square is equals to 4 4 is a 16 a square so therefore y is equals to what 4 a 
y is also equal to 4a we are getting. Now this point we can write it as 4a comma 4a. Okay, so this point we have completed. Now let us draw the graph what we are having. After this complete part, uh, let us draw the two graphs. What we are having parabola. So first we are taking y square is equal to 4x. y square is equal to 4x means uh, we have to take this graph. Okay, this one is what uh, y square. y square it is equals to 4ax. Okay, one graph we have taken, one parabola we have completed. Now second parabola what we are having over here, x square is equal to 4ay means we have to take this part. Now taking this one is what uh, x square, x square it is equals to 4ay. Okay, so these two parabolas we have taken. Now for these two parabolas, whatever the shaded region we are having over here, this area we have to find now. Okay, if you want to find out this area, as we are having the two functions now, we are having one simple formula over here, area, area it is equals to integral of a to b, integral of what? A to b, y1 minus y2 dx. What we are having? y1 minus y2 dx. Now what is y1? What is y2 means? y1 means upper curve. What is y1? Upper curve. y2 means what we are having? Lower curve. Okay. Now in this part, in this part, first we have to find out y1 value. How to find out y1 value now? Let us see this one. Okay. This is upper curve now. This, this part is only upper curve and this part is what? A lower curve. So first this we have to find out upper curve y value. So what we can write now? y it is equals to, if you are sending the square over here, it will become under root. Under root means what we can write? 2 root a into root x. Okay. This is y value we are having, y1 value. Now similarly, from this part, we have to find out again y value. So y is equals to how much we are getting over here? x square divided by 4a. What we are having? x square divided by 4a. That is y2 value. Now we have to substitute y1 value, y2 value and then we have to integrate. So if you know basic formula of the integration, directly we can uh, solve this question over here. Okay. Now let us see this part. So if you are having area, area it is equals to integral of let us take this x values now because we are integrating with respect to x means uh, we have to consider x values. So now what is uh, x values we are having over here x equals 0, x equals to 4a. So let us write this part as 0 to 4a we have taken and what is y1 value we are getting over here. y1 it is equal to 2 root a into root x. Okay, Let us write over here. So 2 root a into root x minus what is y2 value? y2 is equal to x square by 4a. x square by 4a means uh, x square divided by 4a and this part we are having it as dx. Okay. Now we have to integrate. If you know simple integration formula, see this part. Integral of root x formula we are having. Integral of root x is equals to 2 by 3 into x power 3 by 2 plus c. Okay, this is one basic formula we are having. Similarly, integral of x power n, integral of x power n dx, it is equal to what? x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. Okay, by using this only, integral of x square. So, integral of x square dx means what we can write over here? x cube divided by 3 plus c. Okay, these are the basic formulae. Now, let us do the integration now. See this part. It is equal to 2 root a. 2 root a is constant. Uh, and integral of root x means what we are having? 2 by 3 into x power 3 by 2. And what are the limits we are having over here? 0 to 4a. Whenever we are having the limits, uh, no need to write plus c over there. Okay. Now, similarly, in this part, minus, again we are writing 1 by 4a as it is over here. Okay. Integral of x square will become x cube divided by 3. Okay. Now, what are the limits we are having again? 0 to 4a. Now, after doing integration, whenever we are having the limits means uh, we have to apply upper limit minus lower limit. What we have to do? Upper limit minus lower limit. Let us do this part over here. It is equals to 2 root a. I have written as it is. Or else let us multiply this constants over here. What we are having the constants? Uh, see this part. 2 twos are 4. We are having 4 root a, 4 root a divided by 3. This part we are having. Now we have to do upper limit minus lower limit. In the place of x, we are substituting 4a. So 4a whole power 3 by 2. Upper limit minus lower limit. Lower limit means 0 only. Okay, This part we have taken. Now next part, minus 1 by 4a we have written as it is. Okay, 
Now next, again in the place of x, we have to write 4a whole cube divided by 3. Again, upper limit minus lower limit. We are getting this part over here. Now let us go for somewhat simplification. It is equals to, now we are having 4 root a divided by 3 we have taken. Okay. Now for this part, 4a whole power 3 by 2 is there. Now. So what I am doing means, sir, listen carefully. 4 means I am writing it as 2 square and power I am giving separately 3 by 2. Okay, and this part a power 3 by 2 I am writing separately over here. Minus 1 by 4 a we have written as it is into 4 cube we are having. 4 for the 16, 16 for the 64 we have taken into a cube. Again divided by 3. Like this we have taken over here. So this 1 a, 1 a gets cancelled. 4 1s are we are having and this is 4 16s are. What is left over here? This 2 2 gets cancelled now. It is equals to. 2 cube, 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, this is 8 and this is 4. So, 4 8s are what we can write 32, okay. Now, this one is a power 3 by 2, this is a power 1 by 2. a power 3 by 2 into a power 1 by 2, what we can write over here, see this part, a power 3 by 2 into a power 1 by 2, it is equals to, bases are same in multiplication, power should be added, a power 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2, it is equals to a power 4 by 2, 4 by 2 means 2 1s are 2 2s are, which is equals to a square, okay. So, in the place of this root a and a power 3 by 2, what we can write? a square divided by 3. What is left over here? Minus 16 a square divided by 3, which means area. Area it is equals to, denominator is same I have written as it is over here, 32 a square minus 16 a square. Means 32 minus 16 means what we can write now? 16 a square by 3. What are the units sir? Square units. So, this is the answer for one question. So, if you are solving like this question in the ESET examination, you can't attempt all the questions sir, of the uh, paper over there. Okay, So, that is why what we will be doing. Now, you can see this complete concept. This complete concept was related to one question only. Now, we will be discussing the time saving result of what we are having for this type of questions. Okay, So, what we have discussed over here, whenever we have to find out the area between the two parabolas. What we are having? Two parabolas. Now, let us see this part. What is the time saving result we are having? Time saving result. Okay, now see this part. Now, what we are having over here, area, area between two parabolas, area between two parabolas. Condition is, uh, one should be, one should be symmetrical to x-axis, symmetrical to x-axis and another and another should be symmetrical to y axis and another should be symmetrical to y axis what is the meaning of this part means sir as we are having two parabolas over here one parabola should be in the form of y square is equals to 4ax and another parabola should be in the form of x square is equals to 4ay okay this two parabola should be there. So, now what is the formula? What is the time saving result formula we are having? So, area it is equals to x coefficient into y coefficient divided by 3. That is it. This is the formula. So, instead of doing all that concept over here, directly how we can write the answer? x coefficient into y coefficient divided by 3. That is it. Okay, no need to draw the graph, no need to uh, find out the x value, y value points over there, no need to do any integration, no need to substitute the limits over there, upper limit minus lower limit, directly by using this time saving result, uh, we can solve this question over here. Okay, now see this part, what we are having. Let us take this question only. Okay, we are having this question now. If you are having this question, what I have told you, I will be writing over here only, see this part, area, area it is equals to, according to a formula we have written x coefficient. What is x coefficient we are having? 4a, okay, 4a into, what is y coefficient we are having? Again, 4a divided by what I have written? 3, x coefficient to y coefficient by 3, it is equals to 4 fours are 16 a square divided by 3, 16 a square by 3, what we got the answer over here? 16 a square by 3, same answer, okay. So, within a single 
like a single step we can solve all these questions over here okay now let us see this part now we are having area between the two parabolas we are having this question y square is equal to 4x and x square is equal to 4y now what we can do over here area area it is equals to what is x coefficient 4 into y coefficient 4 divided by 3 it is equals to 16 by 3 square units this is the answer okay now next question 2y square is equal to x and 3y is equal to x square means, means it is not exactly looking like a y square is equal to 4x form so what i am writing means uh, see this part y square it is equals to 2 we are sending over here means x by 2 y square is equals to 4x and this one x square it is equals to 3y okay now it is looking like y square is equals to 4x x square is equals to 4ay now what we can write over here area area it is equals to what is x coefficient x coefficient is what a 1 by 2 into what is y coefficient 3 divided by 3 3 3 cancel what is the answer 1 by 2 square units okay this part we have taken similarly let us go with the next questions over here see this part y square is equal to 4x x square is equal to 4by for this area area it is equals to what is x coefficient 4a okay into what is y coefficient 4b divided by 3 which is equals to 16ab divided by 3 again we are having the units as a square units okay now let us see the next question over here y square is equals to ax and x square is equals to ay so in this also what we can write over here area area it is equals to what is x coefficient a into what is y coefficient a divided by 3 which is equals to a square by 3 square units okay now let us take one more last question over here y is equal to root x and x is equal to root y but in this question it is not looking like y square is equal to 4ax x square is equal to 4ay it is not looking like that so what we are doing means sir let us send this under root over here it will become what y square is equals to x if i sending this part over here means x square it is equals to y now it is looking like our two parabola so what we can write uh, area area it is equals to what is x coefficient 1 what is y coefficient 1 so 1 into 1 divided by 3 it is equals to 1 by 3 square units okay so this was the concept uh, what we have taken for this question area bounded by two parabolas so whenever we are having this type of question instead of solving all the steps over here directly we can use this time saving result what we are having okay what we are having x coefficient into y coefficient uh, divided by 3 by using this directly within a seconds uh, we'll be getting the answer over here so one more time i want to remind uh, remind you that uh, already sai meda coaching center koti hyderabad has uh, started the coaching for 2025 as well as 2026 students okay means why we are discussing all this concept means uh, the students those who are uh, starting the preparation for the ESET examination from the starting itself like if you have missed the first year also if you are starting from the third semester fourth semester or at least before one year if you are starting your preparation that students only are cracking the examination and they are getting the thousand below integrated rank and in the top colleges top 10 colleges they are getting the seat over there okay so as you can see sai meda coaching center koti hyderabad in the ap set 2024 we got the 22 ranks out of 50 in tge set 2024 also out of 50 we got 32 ranks over here okay like you can see csc triple e dme dc in all the five branches we got the top ranks in the ap as well as a uh, Telangana ESET 2024. If you want any more details regarding this, you can contact on this given numbers 9246212138, 9848692598. Thank you very much.